Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we finally, finally managed to catch a crab in one of our crab pots. So one of the first things we're going to do today is go to the community center and uh, donate that to the Junimos because I believe they wanted just a regular old crab in one of their bundles. So I am really looking forward to that because I think that'll bring us one step closer to actually uh, finishing that bundle. We might be very, very close, but first let's read this letter that we have sitting over here. It's uh, from Linus, hello, it's Black Blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Okay, we can definitely do that. That's probably uh, going to be quite easy, actually. Do we have any blackberries in here? Um, <laughs> we have one blackberry, so I guess we'll bring that to him. I'm not sure how many he actually wants. Um, it didn't really give us a limit on that. So does it say in uh, the quest, actually? Find, oh, find Linus's basket and return it to him. I thought he wanted us to uh, give him some blackberries, but, oh, and <laughs> apparently our bok choy is done. I thought we had to water that too. Oh my goodness. I am just full of mistakes today, aren't I? <laughs> and it looks like our sprinkler worked. So our sprinkler managed to water all of these crops in this little circle overnight, which is excellent. We'll have to uh, find a way to possibly make some more of those and maybe replace all of our torches with uh, little sprinklers because it would certainly save us some time. <laughs> we have so many crops now that it really takes a while to uh, water all of them properly in the morning. And are these done too? What are these? They're cranberries. Oh my goodness. Like I completely forgot that I planted all of these things. So it's always a surprise to see what we have <laughs> once it's all grown. But four cranberries. All right. I don't think the Junimos wanted any cranberries. I uh, don't remember that being in any of the bundles, but we might uh, see if anyone maybe wants some cranberries around the town, and uh, we'll keep some of the cranberries in our uh, our future kitchen <laughs> as well. So we'll have to, uh, hopefully we will be able to make that kitchen pretty soon. I'm really crossing my fingers that all of these plants will give us a nice big harvest. So we'll have um, enough money to upgrade our house because we've been working on that for a very long time, haven't we? <laughs> it costs 10,000 gold to upgrade the house with a kitchen. So, I mean, we're, uh, we're getting there. We're slowly but surely getting there. We, uh, took a little detour when we made our coop instead, but now we have some beautiful chickens on our farm, so I'm not complaining, and Daisy is kind of hiding behind this tree. <laughs> we could just barely see her. I'm going to take a quick peek in this cave to see if we have any fruit. Oh, dear, unfortunately we don't. So, uh, no fruit from the fruit bats today, but we can go over here and say hi to those big fat chickens. <laughs> Here's Quill. Just push you out of the way, Quill, I'm sorry. And uh, here is Fluff. Let's see, they still have one heart each, so that is good to see. They're always uh, quite happy chickens, and they always leave us eggs, which I'm very, very glad to see. Actually, I was thinking what we could do in this episode is bring one of our eggs to Jody because I'm not 100% sure if we've done that yet, and I'm wondering if maybe she would like eggs. I, I'm not sure if, uh, well, I know <laughs> she was very upset that Sam dropped one of her eggs on the floor um, back in the summertime. So maybe she would like it if we gave her a replacement egg. <laughs> we'll have to see. So let's go over to the community center and drop this crab in the crab pot bundle. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll be closer to uh, finishing that. Oh, wait a second though. I see wiggly worms. Good thing I have uh, my hoe out already ready. Let's see. Uh, oh, just some clay. <laughs> just some clay from that patch of wiggly worms, which I guess isn't too bad. I'm sure we uh, need clay for something, some sort of crafting material. Um, have we ever used clay before? We may have used it when we built something uh, from Robin or maybe... Maybe one of the buildings requires some sort of clay that we haven't built yet. I'm not sure, but I remember seeing clay somewhere, so <laughs> I'm sure we'll need it eventually. But here is where the crab pot bundle is, right here. And yes, we do need a beautiful crab in the crab pot bundle. So we are moving right along here. Um, It looks like we only need one more, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but there's only one more slot, so hopefully that means that uh, the crab pot bundle will be complete very, very soon. I'm kind of surprised we didn't give them an oyster yet. I'm pretty sure we can find the oyster um, just lying around on the beach, so maybe we'll get lucky <laughs> and we'll be able to find it. But um, do we need to give the Junimos the bok choy? Let's see, uh, real quick, since we're here, we might as well take a peek. Um, nope, no bok choy, but we need to give them corn 
pumpkin and yam. Um, I really hope I'm growing all of those things. <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, take a sneaky peek back in a previous episode to make sure that I planted all of those things because we don't want to go through the whole season without um, making all of the crops that we need for fall because then we'd have to wait until next fall to complete that bundle and that would be terrible. But let's go up here and check our crab pots too. We'll take out our bait as well actually just so we have that on hand and we can fill it up again and hopefully we didn't catch trash this time. Hopefully there's something different. Um, oh, what is that? What is this? A periwinkle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and soggy newspaper. We don't care about that. Um, we'll just fill that up again. Was that one of the things that the Junimos wanted actually? I, I think it might have been. Let me see if I can find it. Let's see. Um, yeah, a periwinkle. Okay. Okay, that's good. So we can actually finish that today if we only need one more spot. I hope so. <laughs> Let's go see what that does. Okay, guys, cross your fingers that this is going to be enough to finish the entire bundle. Uh, crab pot bundle. Let's see. Where is my periwinkle? There it is. Yes, bundle complete. Yes. <laughs> it was enough. Oh, my goodness. So, uh... We got a new reward from that. More crab pots. Oh, yay. <laughs> Just what I wanted to see. And look at that guy. He's adorable. He's carrying his new bundle, his brand new bundle, because that's um, the very first fishing bundle that we've uh, ever completed. So there we go. There we go. We finally completed another bundle, and I'm so happy to see that. <laughs> And I noticed that I have this bug meat in my inventory for a very important reason because I thought it might be a good idea to craft some more bait. And then I noticed that this is where our wild bait was. It was literally right next to our bait anyway. <laughs> so the wild bait costs 10 fiber, 5 bug meat, and 5 slime, which we don't have on us at the moment, but we're just going to make some regular bait for now. Um, oh, look at that. We got a new achievement for that too. <laughs> DIY. Okay. That's not bad. Whoops. Um, so there we go. We have plenty of bait now because we've been using quite a bit of it in um, our brand new crab pots and fishing as well, which uh, we, we definitely needed to replenish our bait supply anyway. But let's see what this is. Um, I have a craving for Joja Cola. Please bring one by for me from Linus. Um, okay, I know we can do that. Now we know exactly where we can get the Joja Cola very, very easily, which is over here <laughs> in the saloon in the uh, vending machine. So we'll bring that by to Linus uh, when we go back up to that area. Area because we always want to help Linus out. It's a little bit strange that he wants uh, some Joja Cola to drink, I think, but that's okay. <laughs> we have a lot to help uh, Linus with in this uh, this season, don't we? But here's Jody. so we wanted to give her an egg to see if she enjoys this because her birthday's coming up soon, and I want to make sure that I know exactly what to give her. So here, Jody. Um, thank you. This makes my day really special. Okay. <laughs> so she really likes the eggs. That's good. Yesterday, I visited Yoba's altar to ask for my my husband's safe return. Oh, Yoba's altar. I remember that. That's in Pierre's shop and uh, they all seem to go there. Well, quite a few of the townspeople seem to go there on Sunday mornings. Um, and that's all she has to say today. So there we go. Now, now we know a little bit more about that <laughs> strange little room. Fall is Abby's favorite season, so I'm hoping she'll come out of her room more often. Fall is my favorite season too, so I can definitely see that. And there's some blackberries, even though we don't need to give these to Linus. <laughs> there's some blackberries. And hi, Vincent. I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. Aw, that's a Sam, right? Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, Vincent, bye. Um, would you like a blackberry? This isn't very fun. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go, offending the townspeople again. Um, I want to see if Carolyn likes these, but I'm a little bit afraid now. Let's see. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Okay, so she's she's pretty happy with that, I guess. <laughs> We're not going to give it to Emily, though, because she seems to um, prefer the jewels that we uh, we dig up around the mines. And is uh, Sam around here? Because I know, speaking of uh, <laughs> the minerals and jewels that we find, I know he likes the topaz. So is this his house? I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, this is. This is his room over here, but it doesn't look like he's in right now, so unfortunately we can't give him the uh, topaz right away. But that's okay. I'm sure we'll find him somewhere. <laughs> somewhere around the town. And look at these little creatures up here. These little uh, decorations. That is adorable. I love how everyone decorates around the town when the seasons change. It is really, really cute. Leah's house down here is particularly interesting with these little pumpkins and the skeleton. And here's Haley. I didn't expect to see her down here. If you want to play a cruel joke on my sister, give her sashimi. She might not forgive you, though. Just the thought of it can make her depressed. What? That's rude. 
<laughs> well, I guess that's helpful because now we know not to uh, give her sashimi anytime soon because it's going to uh, depress her. Well, that's that's very strange. <laughs> I wish we could ask her about that without uh, offending her. But where on earth is the wizard's hut? I feel like I took a wrong turn here. Um, I wanted to turn in that quest that we finished yesterday. Whoops, um, we finished uh, the slime quest. We slayed four more slimes in the mines for him. So let's go up here and let him know and also give him a brand new earth crystal because uh, he seems to really enjoy those. So I wanted to make sure that we had one on hand to give him. Hello, Mr. Wizard. The elementals are pleased with the job you did. Here's your payment as promised. Thank you very much. I will certainly take that. <laughs> so uh, 160 gold for slaying four slimes, which is not bad at all, I must say. And uh, here is an earth crystal for you too. Look at that face. Have you ever seen a happier face in your life? I certainly haven't. <laughs> Many thanks, the wizard says. So he loves the earth crystals. As far as I can tell anyway, he seems to enjoy them very, very much. So I think we should take a quick trip down to the beach too, just to check what we found in our crab pot overnight and also to fill it up with bait again. The ocean was where we managed to get that beautiful crab from. <laughs> so I'm hoping that uh, maybe we'll have another crab in there. You never know. And then uh, we'll have to see how much they sell for because we've already given one to the Junimos now and we've finished that entire bundle so we don't even have to worry about it anymore. Um, it's getting late too. I wanted to check if Sam was in the house now that it's uh, getting dark but I guess we should probably just uh, hope that we run into him in the town. And let's talk to Abby too since she's right here. I need to stretch my legs and get some fresh hair today. Well, I'm sure your mom will be very happy to hear that because she was just worrying about you, Abigail. She wanted to make sure that you were coming out of here. <laughs> the leaves are even down here. This is beautiful, isn't it? Let's pick up these uh, seashells before we go over to our crab pots. And oh dear, it looks like we just caught some trash today and uh, some more seashells, some clams. I'm happy to see the clams. Not so happy to see the trash, <laughs> but it is what it is, right? Actually, we should probably put those crab pots that we received um, right into the water because that would probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> Since we're down here anyway, we'll place um, two more down here. And is there any other body of water that we could try to place a crab pot in? Um, any other strange little body of water? I mean, we placed one, we placed two actually right by Robin's house. Um, Let's see. I, I don't want to clog up the entire land with crab pots either, but should we try like maybe in the river over here? Would that be a, a good spot? These are a lot of places for us to check later though. Um, Let's put one right by the bridge and hope that nobody gets upset <laughs> that we're just plopping a random crab pot right into the water there. Hopefully no one will uh, be offended by that. And we need to take our Joja Cola to Linus as well. I'm taking the long route around apparently. <laughs> we'll cross the bridge over here and then we'll go see if uh, Linus is in his tent. Usually he can't really tell us off for uh, going into his tent at night. So I don't think he's going to lock us out even though it's getting a little bit late. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> we'll just go up here to Linus and uh, we should try to figure out where his basket is too since we need to do that. Um, at some point find his blackberry basket so he has blackberries a place to put his blackberries anyway because uh, I'm sure he uh, needs to gather up some food during the fall time so let's see Linus seems to be inside his tent and he can't tell us to get out because the tent is wide open <laughs> so here you go Linus here's your Joja Cola that you were craving <laughs> hey so you saw the bulletin I posted I really appreciate it here's a little something for your trouble Thank you, Linus. Let's see how much it was. 75 gold, so not bad at all. I think that might be how much the uh, Joja Cola costs, isn't it? <laughs> so we made our money back anyway, which is always good to see. I'm going to uh, take the side route just to make sure that there's not anything I can forage here. I know it's very, very dark, so it's kind of hard to see, but we did manage to get a mushroom, so that's always good. We can throw that straight into um, the bin for Lewis to sell so we can get some extra gold. So we'll just be uh, one step closer to getting our kitchen finally <laughs> finally finally um, I'm just going to empty up my pockets now and then we will tuck Jess into bed 
Okay, there we go. I emptied most of my pockets. I'm going to put the rest of the food in this chest over here for um, our future kitchen. We're planning ahead here. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what we're going to need to uh, cook some recipes, but I want to be safe. I don't want to find that um, all of the recipes take uh, different ingredients that we don't currently have, though I have a feeling that's probably going to happen anyway, right? <laughs> it, uh, it always seems to happen that way. So let's tuck Jess into bed and end out the episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you all next time. Bye!